Good morning. I hope everyone is well. We are going to do Roxy's weekly challenge today. So you'll need some book pages. You'll need some sort of plain um, pa background pages, um, background pieces like um, sort of in the beigey colours. And we're going to do some collage and then we're going to make some um, tags but slightly different. So I'm going to start off with my beigey collage and um, get cracking. So we're going to make a few. You could do it all in a row. I'll just pull my sleeve up because you know me. I get all dirty. Um, you could do like, you know, the continual Carol Laws type or single ones. I'm going to do single ones. Um, my pages are approximately um, nine inches by nine inches by um, six inches. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to cut them down into four. I might put this one here. So we'll do a few of the background ones and then um, we'll decorate them. They're just going to be slightly different to what I normally do. So we're going to start off with the beige background, which is really nice. Um, okay, so we'll put that there. And I've got a bit of a mess here. I think I'll put that one like that. I'm going to put my papers in all different directions. It's quite early. It's before nine. I thought I'll get my video done. Bef um, I think the, the workmen are here. But I thought I'll, I'll get going before they start making a big noise. And another good thing is to have these ephemera um, pages as well. Because you can get um, numbers and script. Unless you're using original. I've got my little um, pouch over here, plastic bag over here with the um, bits and pieces of original old papers as well. But we just want a, a mix of colours and fonts. Colours, I mean, you know, shades of beige. That's what we want. So I might put that one like that. Let's just see. We'll have a bit of this plain. And it's another one of those projects, let's just take it off here, where the possibilities are endless. Like there's so many things. I might put that one over there. So I hope everyone is well today. We are well, just, you know, a bit of Monday-itis, I think, today. Just don't, a few things I've got to do and I just don't feel like doing them. <laughs> so I woke up a bit meh as Lulu would say. Put that up there. Okay. Let's see what else. Put this somewhere. I wanted to turn it around. Not there. I think I like it there, so I need to put some more things. Here's some dictionary page. Or will I put it that way? Yeah, maybe that way. So I'll do a couple of these and then we'll get cracking decorating. So you'll need also um, then some fussy cut images. I was going to do it that way, wasn't I? Yeah, you'll need some fussy cut images to um, embellish. Maybe a little bit of faux she and, and real washi. We'll call it Faishi now, so we don't get into trouble. By the washi tape police. Okay. So, um, Gail got into trouble. I got into trouble from the washi tape police. Quite a few of us. <laughs> I think there's someone had a lot of time on their hands to go around and police us. Um, I think that's quite entertaining. Okay, so we're going to have that, but I need to put something here. Oh, I've got some strips here. I don't want any colour. I'm doing beige. I'm going down the beige road. These are just from tearing down pages to, to put into um, journals. And I keep them because, you know, they're quite handy to have little strips. I just want to make it a little bit narrower, this one. And I'm going to slip that under there. Right. 
now then it's the same color as that isn't it am i being fussy oh i don't like that now oh i think i put that over there no i don't like it there i put it there okay i'll tell you why i don't like it because it's the same color okay i don't know why i'm just fussing about with the few a few items when i can grab some more just a sec this over here these are just odds and ends of different um, old papers like some are vintage some are um, really old but they they're the ones I've told you a million times were the ones that um, were that you know they were damaged very damaged so I had to tear them down because it was kind of gross A nice piece of vintage paper there put that there sometimes from the time i tell you i'm going to put it somewhere i forget i forget where i was going to put it how silly is that i think i'll use this other piece in another one um I might just grab a bit of this. Okay, and I'm going to put that there like that. Okay, so there's one done. Thankfully, I remembered how I was going to put it. So we'll put that over there to dry just a second. And we will do another one. They start to not tear off very well. I'm just going to get rid of that if I can. Yes. And we will glue on to this one. So I'm going to grab this paper. Let's move this out of the way. I don't have anything exciting to tell you. All we did yesterday was um, get things done. So that's why there was no video. It was just all day. We did go and have dinner at my mother-in-law's, which was always great. We didn't have to cook. We liked that. And, um, and she's a great cook. What did we eat? We had... Olive Ascolane, which are the stuffed olives. Oh, my gosh. And she goes to see her friend, her high, her best friend from high school. Um, and where she lives, it's not, it's a few hours from here. Um, they're typical. And she goes, and they, the ones that she buys are, you know, the handmade ones, not the ones that you buy at the supermarket that aren't handmade, if you know what I mean. Um, and so we had those and and then oh we had these um which is yes we start to eat that now um these things called capoletti which they're like um little they look they're like little mini tortellini and they serve them in a broth i'm going to put that there but i need something behind it it was very yummy okay i'm going to put this is a ripped look at this a ripped um oh look it's even got an elastic band stuck to it i think i might take see if i can take this bit here i may not put it there i may put it somewhere else i could put it maybe i'll put it there that will go there let's glue that one down doesn't matter if they're going in all different directions okay and then that's going to go there but I still need to find something 
to go near it. This can go in the middle. Put the yellowing on that page piece of paper. It's very nice. Go there. Um, let's see what else we have. Aha, this is what I want. These. So that's going to go somewhere. I'm looking, oh, what about that? No, that's similar to that. I'm looking for something. I probably need to print some more out. I don't, I use it quite a lot. Well, I haven't used it for a while, but I normally use it quite a bit. What about a piece of this? These um, ephemera packs. Put that one that way. Change, maybe change the direction. Let's glue that one down. Oh, I need to take this off just a sec. So that's going to go there. Then I had this. And I put it that way or that way? Maybe that way. And maybe this one. Maybe I'll put that one there. Oh, I think I like that one more. Maybe put that one down here. Okay. Oh, I didn't use the other one, just a sec. I'll put that under there. Hmm, I think I put that there. And maybe this one down here. No, that one. No, okay, I'm going back to my original plan. I want to cover that up. Put that there. Gosh, who knew that um, beige could be so hard? <laughs> I think I'm just being fussy. I'll put that along there. Okay, let's glue this one down first. So strips do come in handy. Always remember that. Put that there. It's better. 
Okay, got it. Right, so this is a bit wet, but I, I will try and cut them, but sometimes they can be hard to cut because they're wet. Let's just move these out of the way. So I think I'm done with those for the minute. Okay, bring my cutter. Where's my cutter? Here. Yeah. So I said my page is nine. Let's do this one first. Nine by a little bit more than six. So I've got to do four and a half. And then I'm going to do just a tiny bit over three. So these are going to be my little tags. Now I haven't backed them with anything because I thought you could just like before you cut it, back them with like, you know, um, coffee dyed, tea dyed paper or whatever paper you want. But I'm going to do them individually, see what takes my fancy. This is my first one, and I what I, I'm going to back it with something. Uh, I had some old book page here somewhere. Oh, now I can't find it. Where did I put them all? Okay, well, I will back it with this. Okay. And then I might just tear this down like this. I'll trim this side off. Keep those bits. And then put a little bit of glue along that top bit and then fold it down. Okay, now. I'm going to grab a fussy cut, something I've cut out like this, and then, <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm going to grab a frame. So if you don't have these pull apart frames, um, I really like this look, then you can um, like stamp a frame and I'm just looking for this washi tape. I wanted to use this one. Um, you can just get a, um, you know, like stamp a frame, like a label, I want to say, like a big label, and then cut it out. Can you put that there? I'll glue my frame down. I need, I'm going to use this glue because this glue is easier than using like glue stick because I just pull them apart. I did have an idea, vague, an, a vague idea of what I wanted to do um, before I started because I'm getting, you know, I mean, this is week 43, we're getting down to the end and I'm sort of the ideas are becoming less and less. I'm going to put that there. She's going to go there and still going to put something else. Let's have a think. Let me see here. If I've got, maybe I might like some sort of stamp. Nope. Maybe I won't.
or even the stamp could go over and fold around but maybe not quite that bright something a bit less bright not a butterfly go back to the flowers I think well they're all a bit bright aren't they Well, no, okay, I'm not going to use a stamp. I might use, um, I'll put that washi there, foshi. Uh, let me just see what I've got here. So when I um, was cutting up my papers, I also made these paper strips. Rather than throwing them out, I, um, I just put double-sided tape on them. So they could be fun, especially this type. I'll just tear a piece off. Now, will I be able to get the paper off? Yes, I can. And then, put that there. Fold it around to the other side. And then I can glue her on. Maybe I'll put her over there. Yes. Okay. So I cut this little girl out of one of last year's papers. I think I might, I might have even printed it a bit smaller. And then I just cut her out. It was a leftover printout from last year. Oh, I love that. It's very simple, but I do like it. And you could come along um, and put words or a label or something like that. I'm just trying to find my words. Here we go. I don't know if I want to put any words. Oh, here's a little Noel. That wouldn't be offensive. I've got Monday itis, that's why I'm quiet. I'm just going to snip the little corners off as too as I go. Little Noel could go up there. Might be too small. I think I like it down there, but I've got everything on that side, don't I? That's that bothers me. There. Maybe I'll just put it up there. I'll just put it up there. Just so I don't have all the stuff on one side. Even though I liked it more on the other side. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put it back over there. I liked it there. And you know what I could do? I just looked over here. I've got this washi here. And it's a Merry Christmas one in beige colours. But I think I might like... Oh no, maybe I'll use that piece there. I could put it there. Like that. Maybe I like it more without it. Maybe there. Like that. Okay, and that is my little tag. So we'll go ahead and do a couple more that on there we can use that in the next one and I'm going to snip my little corners I just like the idea of these frames but also if you had these sorts of things just a minute let me find one this you could cut it out I've seen people do that if you have those sorts of labels um, uh, these are blue, but um, you could cut those out. I've seen lots of um, 
snail mail people do that cut the frames out but I've got the pop out ones or otherwise you could draw a frame around if you wanted to so let's back this one just get rid of that we're not lacking for gluing papers I put the glue on here and I haven't chosen my paper yet how about that goodness knows what I did with it I had a whole lot of um, papers for, and I'm even organised at the moment, which is a surprise, but I don't know where I, I've put them somewhere over here. Oh, here they are. And there's the one I was looking for. Oopsie. This is just an old end paper. So we'll use that and I'll put this here. And again, I'm going to fold that over the top. You could even um, just keep that, not cut it off just trim off that bit and fold it over and it can be an extended journaling card I'll show you what I mean maybe if I used my cutter it would be better and then I would trim that off Keep that nice edge from the book page. Just add a bit of texture. And then that just folds over like that. And you've got a little journaling spot. It's crooked because I cut it off something else. Snip the corners off. And that just opens out and you can journal there and that idea i got from carol from carol laws i love the way she does that okay so here i think that's so cute and sometimes it's just nice to we it's just nice to have a like a beige um background okay so and of course when you do these um you get so many look how many we've got eight to work with from two collage pages oh I know what we could do something different that's a very grungy piece of tea dyed paper we could now where are they here I've got on my Christmas stamps in here I pulled them out put those over there uh, I could do I might do it in green and I could grab are they in here or did I put them away most of my Christmas stamps are uh, Stamperia Christmas stamps. I don't have too many others. I thought I could grab a bit of that one and maybe just stamp a little bit. This might even just go like that. There. And then do the secondary stamping there so it's more pale. There we go. Just to add a little bit of something else in the background. I've got a lot of different things around me that I'm using. So it's, um, I'm having to sort of put them in all different spots. Put that up there. Santa here that I had cut out before I like the Santa and I need a, I like the frame behind I just feel like it just gives it another element of interest I've got one here that I broke it is glue though put that there up or down maybe down I think I'll just glue it on and then figure it out I also have one of Jen's from Dream Etc. Um, I did print out some more of her fussy cut things because I I use them. I love them. So I've got a little snowman there. So maybe I might like that one more. We'll see. Okay, let's see if I can glue this bodgy frame down. But you could also draw them. I think I said that. 
you could what you could do because i wouldn't be able to go straight enough you could um, maybe have cut out two rectangles two different sizes and then you put them down as a template and then draw around them yeah that would be a good idea i'm going to put that there now i can decide if i want the snowman or santa quite like santa that was also cut out of a paper i might put santa there and have something here let's see what we've got i don't think i want anything from there i've got this little washi tape here oh. nope i thought that was going to be transparent that one um Oh, just a minute now we haven't used any of these blues let's do the blues and red it's not very transparent that one but anyway oh i think i like that one i'm gonna have to make some more of these poshies I did buy some more. I did buy some more um, tape so that I don't have to use the carpet tape. Put that there, keeping it very simple. Well, it looks complex, doesn't it? Now that is going to fold over there, but that's okay because it will open out. You see, like that, and it'll just be on the on the extra writing bit. Let's glue Santa and we'll move on to the next one. I feel like I'm 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 moving in slow motion. I've got this weird sensation today. I'm, I'm moving in slow motion. And there's that one. I think they're so cute. Where's my other one? Do you have lost the other one? Maybe I should put them in my rubbish. Okay, we've got this one here. And we will back it with something. I've got I've found my backing stuff, so that won't take as long as before. I like backing them with old page. Can I fit two there? Maybe. can't believe how much quickly this year I'm, going to, I'm not going to fold anything over this time i'm sticking it on the wrong side no i'm not um i can't believe how quickly this year has flown by we're already doing christmas honestly and then i love christmas and then christmas just flies by in a flash it's like a flash flash in the pan christmas Although I'm not quite sure how, quite how much I'm feeling Christmas this year in the sense um, that we won't even be in, in this place. We'll, we'll be in the other, um, we'll, we'll be renting um, because, as you know, in the new year, well, may, we might start before, I don't know, we'll be renovating. Like this place is going to become a shell. It's like, you know, it's an apartment, but it's going to be, we're very excited because it's, it's very, it's an old apartment. And it needs an update. It really does. And everything's falling apart. I'll tell you, let me tell you that. So the loo seat, we've got this type of loo, I don't know. It was here when we got here. But the toilet seat always breaks. It just breaks off. And so Steph and I, we're, you know, and every every couple of months he's replacing the loo seat because it just it breaks off. It literally comes off. And so um it's a great topic, isn't it? Um, so, so um, it, he fixed it sometime this summer, and then it broke instantly again within a month. And so he's refused to fix it. So we've been on the on the we've had the toilet the same loose seat for months, months and months. And I literally sit on there and nearly fly off. It's it's very stressful going to the loo um but you know we're about to move out so we've just we've just letting it all go it's all just it's gone all gone kaput that's what's happening it's all gone kaput the whole place everything's falling apart 
and I've just given up. So it's time to move on. Another one here. I like that. Oh, it's still got a bit of green on it. I like that. I like that. I like it when the colors mix. I know you're not supposed to do that, and it, you know, and then it stays on your stamps and things. Um, stays in your ink pad, but it doesn't worry me. Okay, put that there. Now let me just bring over the Christmas washies and see if there's anything else I'd like to put here. I wasn't sure about that frame. It's a bit um, it's a bit chunky. Oh, I like this one. This one's another MT. Um, MT is the really good. Um, it's a very good Japanese brand of washi tapes. I'm gonna use a bit of that somewhere. I think. Or maybe I'll use a bit of this one. I don't know. I'm just going to pull a few bits off. I'll use them eventually. I think I got it just a pack from... I'd have bought a pack from Amazon with those ones. Okay, so let's see. Try my frame. Oh, I like the frame now that there's a bit of interest in the background. And then put that... Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay, figured it out. We may not get them all done because I, I, I do feel like I'm moving in slow motion, very slow motion. So I might do one more after this and then give it a rest. Okay. Put that there. I like things, as you notice, slightly off centre. And then I think I'm going to use this one. And I, I think I'll fold it over the back. This is a no-name brand. And will I use the... I think I'll look for something else just a minute. Let's see. Oh, there's my other one. I found it. I like looking at the papers too because, you know, there's lots of little things you can cut out of the papers. If I can pick up my papers without picking up a million things. How I've gotten myself into such a mess is beyond me. So not that one. See, I already cut out of these ones. There's that Santa there. These little guys. I think I've got those on the fussy cutting sheet, one of the fussy cutting sheets as well, but I like them on the papers too because they're smaller. And I have no problem cutting them out because I've I've printed so many, I've got so many printouts that honestly. It looks like he's holding the flowers. And when I'm, I'm cutting around this, I will probably salvage little bits of this paper because it's not it's pretty and you can use it when you just need a little strip of something. just put that over there to look at it afterwards and I'll cut this bit out here as well so just stab it going up there to the edge so he's got his walking stick you don't want to cut that too thin because otherwise when you're gluing if you're well if you're me you'll just rip it apart yes I like the Santa with the colors now, do I want something up there? I might like a little piece of this one. So much fun. Aren't we lucky doing these things? Just so much fun. It's kept us busy during these difficult times. It's just... Keep on keeping on. You know, my mum's, we as most, well, a lot of you are Aussies watching. 
um, you know, um, New South Wales and Victoria have been in a lot, lot quite a long lockdown um, since July and they've just come out and I always think about my mum, she lives by herself and she doesn't live right in Sydney and she hasn't seen anyone for ages and I worry about her but you know what, her saving grace is that she sews all day and 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 sometimes we talk about and we're like, aren't we lucky? We are so lucky that we have that. I'm just going to put a teeny tiny piece of that. Because try and imagine, like, if I, like, for my father-in-law, for example, he, his whole thing, he's a very sociable person. Like, he's, he goes out to the gym every day and, and um, he's been doing it ever since I've met my husband in 1993 and even before that, obviously. Um, and... For him, I mean, he couldn't go out anymore. Lockdown was terrible. I really like that. These are fun. So as I said, tricky way you could do it um, to do your frames is, so get two pieces, just say um, one piece of cardstock and then another piece slightly bigger and then draw, draw around your big one and then put your little one in and draw around that and you'll get your double frame. Um... Maybe maybe I'll I'll prepare that. I don't know if I'll remember. Memory like a sieve, as you know. But if I remember, maybe I could cut one out and show you what I mean in another video. Um, wait, now, oh, here's my piece of paper. I'm going to put this on. And then I'll just put a little piece down the edge where it's missing. I'm getting hungry now. I haven't had breakfast yet. that on there oh I could have that little bit of interest there I think just glue that down I'll do the other bit first because it's sticky and I do have strips of things where are they oh why don't I just stick one there that would be easy wouldn't it just stick that down there it's got double-sided tape on it you wouldn't do that if you were going to stitch on the sewing machine, because I think the double-sided tape does gunk up the sewing machine. The yes, the sewing machine a little bit. That's what we were talking. Oh, look, I didn't put enough up there. So what will I do? I have a little piece of this. This is why you keep these little bits. <laughs> They're very useful. Sometimes you need to patch things up. There we go. And then I'm going to just like that look. Okay, so we might try and use the little snowman. And I need to grab a frame and I'm just trying to think which one will I use. I won't use that thick one again. What about this one? I think this is the one I messed up before. I tried to sort of pull a few out before you. I turned on the video so you didn't have to sit me doing, sit and watch me do this. I could even leave it double. I wonder what it would look like thicker. Too much. I want it thinner. So I try to be careful. That's the only thing about them is you've got to be take your time. You can't rush um, poking them out. I got them on AliExpress. Um, they seem to show up a lot when I was looking up. I don't know what I was looking up, labels or something like that. So that's going to go there. But I think I might do a little bit of stamping because this one's quite plain. Or you could, you could actually like, you could collage. Oh, there we go. While I'm saying it, I'm going to do it. You could collage a little bit more if you're finding it's a little bit plain in the background. And, of course, you could add, like, a little bit of colour on there if you want to. But my whole thing was to keep it um, beige for this video. And what will I stamp? I think I'll just go with this colour. I don't have any scripty stamps here. They've even got dust on them. These are stampery. I could stamp a little bit of this. 
Maybe not. No, I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe a little bit of a wreath. I never use this one. If I do the wreath, I feel like I want to do green. No, too many frames. Oh, here's it. No, I don't want that. Okay, I'm going to stamp the dots again. Uh, I think I just want to keep it simple. So I'll stamp the dots again. There and there again. It seems to be the good spot. Because you want to make sure you're stamping them in an area where you will be able to see them. Will I put that up there? Yes. Okay. And then we need... So it's fairly simple formula. Um, oh, no, I don't want that one. I'll use that somewhere else. Do I want this one? A little bit of this. I'm going to glue my frame down first. That's a good idea. Oh, another thing I'm thinking of as I'm gluing is what, like I said, you could have two different sized pieces of cardstock that you cut. If you've got like some frames some um you know framelits by Sizzix that are different sizes for tags or something you could have two of those two different sizes and draw around and cut those out and then draw around those like i'll show you what i've got i've got these these are not available anymore um but i'm sure they've got something else because you guys have told me that you haven't been able to see that. you could have two of those would be wonderful or two of these look Two different sizes not that they'd have to be the one the you know, next size down i'm just trying to find them here we go next size down you see you could cut this one out cut that one out and then draw around them that might work and you could even draw them around them on a cardstock and and then have it like that and then cut cut that out rather than drawing them directly so because i like the white around there so I was thinking I needed to see, I wanted to see if I wanted to put um, I might put that here. It's crooked. Of course it's crooked. I've got all my papers here and they're just annoying me so let's put those up there i'll sort those i'll tidy up afterwards because i've been all organized and tidy and i need to tidy up put my little snow person on there cute so we could have a pop of this again oh i like that See, I'm going to have to do more of that, but I do have this floating around. Maybe I could have that. Maybe not quite that big or there. Everything's going in the same direction, and I don't like that, as you know. I'll just put that over there. I'll use that somewhere else. And I'm going to put this there. And there we go. It's a bit busy. It's all right. So we've done four. I've got four more to do, but I'll do those another time. I'm going to trim that messy. I know it's nice sometimes. I'll leave that little bit there, but I've trimmed the rest off. Okay, so let's recap. Um, I just love them. I, I You know what it is? It's the beige background. I love the beige background, and I like the frames. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. That is Roxy's Weekly Challenge. Um, as I said, if you don't have those, you can use a stamp like a, the signet stamp there's a big one that would be good um and cut it out cut the frame out and then you can do them any color you're not bound by the colors of the bought ones um and then you need some fussy cuts whether they're dreams etc or from papers um these were all from papers um maybe your own foshi that you've made some little maybe some stamps and some beige background with bits of numbers and see we have numbers and writing and grid 
I'll show you the other ones. I, I didn't do anything on them, but I just sort of had made sure that I was going to like the idea. So this was the other one. So you've got some numbers here, um, some red. So I've got plenty to make there. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. And they could also be pockets. They don't have to be tags or, yeah, or like what are they? Uh, not labels, what are they called? Journal cards. They don't have to be those. But that's just what I felt like making today. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll put photographs at the end. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.